Hi there, I'm Rob McDonald, and I wanted to talk to you today about after you have created your masterpiece in Corel Painter Essentials 4, what can you do with it after that? I'm going to talk about some of the different output options you have available to you, where you can actually take your portrait or your painting or your masterpiece, if you will, and have that outputted on many different, uh, different formats. So let's get in, and first we'll start with the painting, um, and then what we'll do is we'll jump in and I'll show you some of the different outputs that you have available to you. All right, so let's go in, we're going to do a photo painting. And I'm going to make an image that I'm going to hang on a wall. So I have a picture of this flower. I'm going to choose a different uh, preset this time. It's going to be a pen and ink drawing. And what this is going to do is going to look at contours in the image and make uh, strokes based on those contours. So we get kind of a sketched version of the actual flower. Um, once that's completed and it's, it's finished, we're going to go into the watercolor sketch and then make a watercolor painting of this flower. Let's click the Start button, and as you notice, it's now painting in watercolor. It does start with the broad brush strokes, and then it will reduce in brush size to bring out the detail of that image, and that's essentially what's happening here right now. So while that's going through, uh, and we're pretty much done, once it's done, what do you do? Well, from the File menu, we're going to go to the Online Print Services. Um, Corel Painter Essentials 4 has partnered with a company called Zazzle that enables you to upload your masterpiece online and have that printed out on a number of different um, media. And media, I mean canvas, t-shirt, a mug, a mouse pad, um, a frame, um, or a wooden frame for that matter. Um, there's a lot of different ways that you can output your, your, your masterpiece. Uh, this is the website where you go through and do it. And that, again, that's all based um, online. And let me show you some of the different ways that you can actually output your masterpiece. So here I have a canvas. And you'll notice that I do have an image on the canvas. This is canvas. So you can then take this canvas that was printed, and if you wanted to then put that in a frame, that's very easily done. So you can see here what that actually looks like. This is my eight-week-old daughter, Lauren. And uh, I took a picture of her, and I then added uh, a painting technique to it. This is an impressionist painting that I did with her here. I also did the same image, but I then put that on a mouse pad. So then I can take her to work. Um, I also took that same image and put it on a mug. So the mug, I can then drink my coffee from in the morning and uh, remind me of my little girl. All right, so here's another output option that I was just mentioning earlier. And this was the ability to actually have your canvas printed on a wooden frame. You have the little hook here or the little wire here to hang it on the wall. This actual image here is, is one of the, the uh, tutorials uh, in Painter Essentials. So you'll actually learn how to do this particular painting that you see here uh, all done up uh, directly within the application. Alrighty, so um, once you're done your masterpiece, we just found a number of different ways that you can actually output your artwork. Um, we talked canvas, mouse pad, mug, uh, canvas on frame. There's a lot of different uh, ways you can do it. Um, I recommend you going up and having a look at all the different ways you can actually have that done. And I recommend exploring some of those options, trying them out, see what they look like. 